marker. That horse shits in cow, you're cleaning it up. Oh. I'd think you the same age as them silly girls. Oh, away with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. Why, well, I was younger, or a thousand dollars richer. Well, I'd marry you. Hi, Karen. What, Karen? How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. In a field, someplace, my mamas were in Lincolnshire, my daddies were outside of Rotterdam. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. 
but I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. And stay out of the worst of trouble out there. <laughs> we made it! I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Mister! Mister! I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. Out of my way! And you'll be sad. Like when your poppy passed. Crap! I just sake. slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur? Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur! Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name! It's a fine name. A strong name. Like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could.
Victor. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? 